Hey, what is up, Libra? This is Pretty Intuitive, back with another one. Let's see uh, what is coming towards you in love. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, please do me a favor, Libra, and hit that like button to show your love and your support on this channel. It is greatly appreciated. What is coming towards Libra in love? <clears throat> This is for the energies towards the end of November. All right. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. Family and legacy, inheritance, foundations, higher commitment. These, This is basically the theme in your love life, or this will be the theme in your love life in the future. You have the Knight of Cups. Charming and idealist, determined, tactful, and graceful. You may be dealing with a Pisces here or a Cancer. You have the Three of Cups. So I'm seeing somebody wants to grow with you, Libra. Somebody wants more. Some of you, you could be friends with this individual, but they want more. They don't want to just be your friend here. Two of Pentacles. Balancing resources, flexibility, adapt, adaptation, um, reunions, celebrations. Okay. So you do have a love offer here from somebody. Could be a Taurus as well. Yeah, we do have a Taurus. Traditional higher learning beliefs, abundance, prosperity, security, and stability, protective and provider, reliable and father. We have the high priestess here. Um, this is representing uh, Pisces and we have the ace of swords. So what I will say, Libra, is that whoever this individual is, they know exactly what they want with you. And I do feel like they want a long-term relationship with you. Okay. They want to settle down with you. They want to have a family with you. Some of you may already have um, children with this individual. I do feel like there may be some type of offer to um, be a family again or something like that. The offer of getting back into a relationship with one another. Okay. Okay. But whoever you're connecting with here, Libra, there is a sense of loyalty and dedication that this person has towards you. Okay. They do want to commit to you. They are committed to you here. Um, some of you, I'm not going to lie, there may be juggling of another situation here. If that resonates, this person could be married. They may be in a relationship. Okay. Now, if your person is married or in a relationship, then that's the only situation to where I would say, unfortunately, that's going to be, that's going to prove to be a little bit, a little bit impossible right now for them to leave. Okay. Even though they may have romantic feelings for you here, I don't see this person leaving right now because apparently this person has some kind of obligation to this person financially. They may have kids with them. Maybe they've been with them for some time. Remember anything being said here could be uh, switched around as well. You could be in this situation, okay? But there is potential, um, there is a potential third party or something like that here. Not for all of you, but for some of you, okay? You would know your situation best as you uh, use your intuition. But for others of you, if it's not third party, I'm definitely getting this person wants to be more than friends with you. That's what you need to know about their intentions here. Especially if you're dealing with a Taurus, a Pisces, a Cancer. Okay. And Aquarius, a Libra, a Gemini. I'm also getting Aries, okay? So I do see some kind of love offer coming in with the Knight of Cups for you and this individual. This love offer is going to shock you, though. You're going to be shocked by this person's love offer. So I'm hearing there could be a news of a pregnancy. Whether you're finding out you're pregnant, your person's finding out they're pregnant. If you're in a third party, I hate to say it, but this person's third party could be pregnant. Two of coins for the two of coins juggling 
making a decision, having to make a choice. Some of you, there could be financial uh, restraints at this time. But I'm not going to lie, we have all these threes here. Three of Cups keeps coming out. This could be um, pregnancy. Doesn't have to be a person. So it's either you're pregnant, they're pregnant. Okay. But I do see there will be financial support. There will be um, stability. Okay. I do feel like this person is doing their best to uh, provide for you or to um, bring about like a feeling of safety. Okay. And comfort between you and them. Okay. Some of you, this Three of Cups is representing a friendship, someone who wants more than a friendship, okay? For so the High Priestess, there could be hidden knowledge here, intuition. <clears throat> Some of you are feeling confused. Maybe this person gives you mixed signals at times. There could be mixed signals because of another person, another situation that they have going on. But I feel like they're only with that person for the children or they're only there because um, of financial purposes. So financial reasons could be stopping this person from fully leaving this individual. Okay. But I feel like the truth will be revealed here. There's going to be some kind of clarity, some type of breakthrough, some kind of truth that's coming in. So if you're in a third party, I do feel like they want to leave this individual. It's not like they want to stay around. They could be there for the children. They could be there uh, for money reasons. But I feel like it's only a matter of time before this person um, makes that move and takes that leap of faith. Okay, so however that resonates for you. Yeah, they, they do want to be with you, though. I, I mean, I'm getting that strongly. They want to be with you. But there could be something standing in the way right now. And uh, third party doesn't always mean person. It could be a person, place, thing. But I feel like they're going to make you aware of this, Libra, with the Ace of Swords. There's some kind of truth or clarity coming out. They're about to tell you the truth. Libra is saying that this person could be the one, though. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. It is safe for you to love. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Especially if you're dealing with a third-party situation. I would say just, you know, um, kind of ease up on it. I don't think this person's ill-willed. Like I said, I think the feelings are definitely are valid. And um, they they really do want to be with you. Their heart is with you, but physically they could be with someone else. Um, I'm not talking about sexual. I'm talking about like for other reasons, but. Okay. They could be with someone else because of their religion, religious differences. There could be religious differences between you and them as well. Here, this could be someone that you work with. It could be a little bit of a taboo situation here, okay? Now, if there is no other person involved, Libra, again, this could be the one. It's safe for you to love this individual, okay? But I do feel like there's still something else that's taking... Um, 
that they're juggling, okay? And it may be resources, it may be money, uh, something about their money or something like that. You know, the type of job they do or something. It could be distance, physical distance. But I don't know, I feel like the cards are saying, like, either way, like, this is somebody that um wants to be with you. But sometimes wanting is not enough, you know, you gotta do, do, you gotta do. So if you do want to know if this person is really going to, you know, be with you at the end of the day, um, even despite whatever this is, then you will need to book yourself a personal reading. I might start doing extended readings again. Addiction, toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, obsession. This person could need to get their life together in some way, shape, or form. Maybe it's something like a drug problem, a drinking problem, something that they're working on purging to be with you. Fated meeting meant to be destiny encounter. Some of you, they could be in a, uh, have some kind of toxic attachment to someone else. Okay, yeah, so this person may have ghosted you, but I don't feel like it was really personal here. There is unfinished business with you and this person, okay? It's not over patterns, baggage, back and forth. Okay. Let's see what this individual wants to say to you. Will you leave me like the others? I have to let you go to find myself. So this may be someone who is um, letting you go to find themselves. To sort their life out, sort their situation out. I have to let you go to find myself. Okay. The passion I feel is overwhelming. I don't know how to handle this. Emotions overwhelm me. I wish I could be fully honest with you and I can't promise you anything. You see, because this is what I was, I was getting here. It's kind of like they want to, but it's like there's still something else that they need to take care of here. Um, that's why they're saying they can't promise you anything. But, you know, your lover, I'm telling you, like, your lover wants to be with you. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, they, they want to be with you. Okay? All right. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this reading, Libras. I hope you found this helpful. Please hit the like button. Thank you so much. Talk to y'all soon.